It appears that Jimmy Fallon, a staunch Obama bootlicker, has taken the gloves off and turned on President Obama the other night uh, during his monologue. He said, quote, more bad news for the president. Chicago is reversing its plan to name a high school after President Obama because it received multiple complaints from people in the community. I guess parents are afraid their kids will spend eight years at the school and still not get anything done. Boom. Of course, Jimmy Fallon took over Jay Leno, host of The Tonight Show, after Leno was fired for being too harsh on Obama. Leno was actually the first late-night talk show host to take the gloves off of Obama. You may recall it was completely off-limits to ridicule him, crack any joke at his expense for well over a year or two into his administration. And Jay Leno, the first to take the gloves off, pushed out despite being number one for 22 years with jokes like, quote, I was going to start off tonight with an Obama joke, but I don't want to get audited by the IRS. Boom. Talking about the IRS auditing Tea Party supporters. On the NSA surveillance, he said, we wanted a president who listens to all Americans. Now we have one. Boom. Uh, on closing Guantanamo Pr Bay prison for the terrorists, if he really wants to close it, turn it into a government-funded solar company. The doors will be shut in a month. Talking about all the solar companies that the president uh, gave money to, who then folded after their executives became wealthy. Um, just goes on and on and on. I mean, it's unprecedented, the uh, jokes that Leno was giving. Again, number one for 22 years. By the way, I was actually on The Tonight Show, or I guess it's supposed to be. I recorded a segment for them. It's a really brief 60-second segment, which was then edited out. Despite the show being live to tape, there's a previous video that I did on it. If you want to get the details about that, it happened last year, last October. I'm not going to repeat the story again. But before you get too excited about Jimmy Fallon, who, by the way, had Michelle Obama on during the first week after he took over from Leno to promote Obamacare, here she, uh, she is, or he is, with uh, two other men dressed in drag, and before you get too excited about Jimmy failing, he is one of the faces of Capital One credit cards. Out of all the products for him to promote, despite probably getting tens of millions of dollars a year in salary, uh, he decided to pimp out credit cards to encourage his mentally enslaved audience to get further into debt under the disguise of getting more cash back. It's cash rewards, knowing that most of the mentally enslaved people won't even barely be able to pay the minimum payment as they just dig themselves deeper into debt. So there you have it, Jimmy Failing, of course, one of the last remaining Obama worshippers in late night television. Of course, just afraid to, you know, lose that uh, inside deal he has to get Michelle, perhaps, or maybe wanting to get Barack on the show. Wanting to get a taste of that power. Wanting to get close to this Masonic Messiah. To this Illuminati God. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos in the playlists. And stay tuned. There's more videos coming soon.